Wait, then is the then is the lead of Yeah, he is the lead of right. TRT, right? right hey, how you doing? Oh, ¿qué pasa de Mr. Chavez? What's going on, Mr. Chavez? Do you want to link up and chat? Hey, yeah, we could have a little conversation. Uh, what do you want? Okay. To uh, occupation in Las Lagunas. What's your ping number? A uh, nine eight nine. Nine eight nine. Okay, I'm gonna send you a ping. But if you make your way to Occupation Las Lagunas, uh, we're gonna be meeting near there. Okay, sounds good. Cool. Go, uh, Talk to you soon. Go to the Occupation Las Lagunas. Room real quick. I got something to show you. Wait, no way. That's Tilly. Oh, yeah, how's it going, guys? How's it going, Mr. Nino? Eh... What's up, Baldi? Ay, mi madre de pinga. Mm. Nino, you... You know this lady? I'm sorry? Do you, you you know her? You know who she is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've known Tilly for I... a little bit. She... Okay. Uh, so, how's it going? How's it going, Mr. Nino? How are you doing? Uh, it has been going pretty good. Um, I have been kind of doing my rounds, trying to... Um, I've spoken to... Uh, a good portion of citizenry, but I have now opened up my rounds with uh, members of the police department. I don't really believe in going into like a meeting where like, you know, it turns into, uh, you know, uh, like a, a game of like main character syndrome. You know what I mean? Like as if we're on like some kind of TV show and someone wants to say like dumb shit. I want to actually have like one on one conversations and conversations with, like groups of offices and ask them how 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 are things for you? Um, what do you want to see out of a mayor? What are the problems you see in the police department? I'm going to, and it's going to, this is going to be, I'm going to keep like, your name is not going to be brought up. You can be very transparent with me. And I want to know what can, if I become mayor, what is it that I can do for you? You, you get my vibe? Okay. Okay. Listen, I'm going I'm to keep it very simple with you too. I'll be honest. As a police officer, the one thing I like is when people have transparency. You know what I mean? When you are just Agreed. straight up as a mayor. If you as a mayor, you say what you gotta do and you don't beat around the bush or say something to please people. Obviously, you know, I know you a politician, okay? So obviously you're trying to win the mayorship and you gotta say what you gotta say right now. But what I'm saying is once you become mayorship, okay? And you become the mayor, I wanna see you be transparent with everybody in the city and say how it is. And say what you gotta do, straight up, okay? Because a lot of people just like to, you know, they like to sound sweet. They like to sound sweet to please you, but then when they, they sound sweet behind you back, they don't do shit that they said. I you know what I, I mean? don't disagree. So that's that's why thing. I told uh, Slacks he's a fucking uh, dumbass and he probably should be fired. But I'm my mother. Continue. I'm my mother. Okay. Yeah. And the second thing, okay, just because some police doesn't mean anything. Okay. I want everybody sorry, in the city. Is, I said can, just can you because. speak just a little bit louder? Are you, okay. Are you talk. Okay. Can yeah, you hear me right now? Yeah, good? yeah, I can hear you. Mm -hmm. Okay, I said just because some police, it doesn't mean cheap. Everybody in the city should be given the same opportunity and be treated the same. Okay, because a lot of people, you know, they want to treat you differently because of what type of power you're in. You know what I mean? But just because some police doesn't mean I'm above anybody. I believe that every police has to follow the law. Everybody has to follow the law. And that stands for everybody. And the third thing, I don't want to see a mayor that wa that's going to become a mayor and start writing some buche fucking laws about fucking you cussing and goddamn fucking uh, adoption. Okay? I said it. What's that going to do for the city? Na na nothing. I said it. Que me pinga me pasa a mi? Que pinga importa de un adoption ni un adoption? I mean, I don't give a fuck about yeah. adoption. You see what I'm saying? I, I, I'm with you. So I'm going to tell you a little bit. So first and foremost, I, uh, I am not going to fight for your vote. I want you to vote for who you think is going to be the person that is the best for the city, right? Um, and uh, but I'll let you know what what uh, what I'm aiming at. Number one, believe it or not, is transparency. Uh, there, there's a, there's a couple things I'm tackling, but there's three main platform points. One is transparency. The way that's gonna go down is um, financial records for the state where money is going uh i want v every every month anybody in the city there will be a published document 
with visual graphics showing where the average pay is. So if G G6 was paying $1,000 for one week and 3,000, all of that's gonna be factored in. This is how many people are working there. This is how much money is going there. This is how much money is going on average to the police department and how much people are getting paid per capita. So you see where all this is. You see what the, how much money is in the state account. You see, I want all of that to be very public so that you can, you as the citizenry don't have to go and say, I want to know something. Now I got to go find the guy that can give me the state Excel sheet and then do da, 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 da. all the work I want done in advance. So any person can just look at it and know what's going on. Number two, uh, I want to pass a, a referendum uh, that makes it so that before legislation even hits the desk, before it's voted on by the consul, the entire city knows what's being voted on. And then when it is voted, it is going to be shown who voted and which way they voted. And not by putting it in some like hidden document it's going to be plastered on social media for the, you know, the pre and post vote. So now all of a sudden the city is engaged. If they have a strong opinion on it, they can go and tackle their council members and like petition them one way or another or, or whatever needs to be. Done. Uh, thirdly, uh, I want to make it easier for the people to actually do a vote of no confidence so that if someone like myself is not doing their job uh, and we hit certain bullet points, literally it just becomes a vote do you want him out yes or no done and done you know none of this fucking bullshit number two in regards to legislation i am looking to repeal and alter the majority of legislation which is mostly just a bunch of bullshit uh that is written by a bunch of folks that can't seemingly can't read or write um i want to get rid of this adoption bullshit anti-mind bullshit rewrite the business shit that just turns people into criminals and as i try to I, I try to mention law enforcement make the laws and the legislation make sense make it hold the law accountable to the rights a, a, of the people so that the law is not creating criminals unnecessarily which means more calls that the pd needs to respond to unnecessarily puts them in a position where they're having to fight in court over dumb shit, right? Um, because the law is so vastly gray that no one knows if it's right or wrong, and the decision is made by a judge that is going to rule completely in one direction or completely in another. And I don't mean, like, 20-page, you know, dossiers. I'm saying, what does it really mean to own a weapons license? 100%. Uh, third is going to be uh, making the lawyers legislators so that even the PD can have its own lawyer, for example, and you can lean on that lawyer to write up new legislation that then gets peer-reviewed by the other lawyers. So when it hits the desk of the consul, we only spend like 30 minutes on debating whether it's right or wrong because it's already done instead of four hours writing up some dog shit. It just makes sense because your lawyer is going to know what the PD needs in legislation. Like... You know, if Tilly's running a flower business and she's having problems with, like, growing shit, her lawyer is going to know what needs to be done more than eight motherfuckers. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And okay. finally, the uh, Department of Commerce that is going to be the ones that are going to be reviewing all business proposals, approving them, disapproving them uh, with reasoning. And if it's declined with a... Uh, you know, what steps that business needs to do to change, to get it accepted. And all that's going to be publicly available. So, like, if I say, you know, Mr. Worldwide wants to start a gym, right? And let's say I like him, right? And I just approve it. I'm like, he's cool. Now you have a reason to get me out of office. Why the fuck are you giving Mr. Worldwide a business just because he's cool? Like, what are the merits of the business? Or well, if I deny it because I'm like, you know, he smells bad. You can be like, well, he's denying Mr. Worldwide because you just said he smells bad. Like, you know yeah, what I'm that's saying? True. You want to keep it fair, 100%. Yeah. Okay. What, what, a, what, what does, um, what do you think is lacking in the police department? And I know you're relatively new, but it doesn't mean your opinion is invalid. Listen, what are you seeing I, that's working, not working? What do you think the government I'll can tell do you to right help now. I'll PD? tell you right now. 
I don't know if this is something that maybe you guys could do in the mayor. But mm -hmm. I'm gonna be honest. Accountability. Accountability. Because a lot of police, you know, like I said, just because some police doesn't mean nothing. Nobody's above the law. A lot of police be going around doing whatever they want to do, you know, or pressing charges they, they shouldn't press or fucking people over. I always say, just because you can fuck somebody doesn't mean you should fuck somebody. You see what I'm saying? The number one thing is 100% accountability. Okay? Great. Uh, what else? Other things with the police department? I would say the structure. I mean, the structure, I think it's getting there. I mean, uh, you know, the BCS soldiers became a thing not too long ago. I think mm -hmm. the structure isn't bad with the police department. But uh, I think the main thing will always come down to accountability. So as long as there's accountability, then everything's good. I like that. What do you think the government should be involved in ensuring that accountability is in place? I think so, because... Uh, I mean, sometimes even the highest power in the PD, the PD needs accountability, you know? And if somebody's the highest power, who's going to give them accountability if they're the highest power? Like, for example, if the chief of police is not doing his job correctly, I mean, if the government, the mayor doesn't step, or somebody doesn't step in, then who's going to stop him? Agreed. I can tell you right now, it's, it's a little unknown as to uh, the level of autonomy and the yeah, level of Devil, that's 30 SPS. Uh, I am looking to prove that I can maintain the power that the past may have had with greater responsibility. I do not want a commissioner that is a fucking, um, you know, super soldier that is using the police department for his bidding. I want somebody that's day-to-day -day focus is making sure that it is being communicated what the citizenry wants down to the police department. Right, and for the police department to use him as a means to explain what's needed and for that commissioner to be able to push it up. In other words, I want someone who is an executive, an actual commissioner, not someone that can just grasp, gra grab a class two firearm and go after his enemies. And 100%. I think that inherently increases transparency via communication, um, which leads to on a daily weekly monthly basis improving the state of things because right now uh even civilians uh and pd relationships are bad unfortunately some officers um think it's because they don't want to go to jail or you know a bunch of excused victim blamey reasons when in the reality is i think most people just want to know why they're being charged and for it to make sense for them being charged and not need to go through the avenue of like, go to bench trial, go to thing because you disagree. Too, I feel that too, exactly. And, and that increases the health of the police department, right? I don't think anyone is ever going to be, you know, on that mag dump season bullshit. If when they get charged, they can get explained why the fuck it's going one way or another. That's all I think most people want. And it's a, uh, in combination of sensible legislation, right? Listen, also, one thing I gotta tell you, uh, when you become, I'm, I don't know if you can do anything about this when you become mayor, but when, if you become mayor, I feel like something's gotta be done af, uh, after the appealing system. I just feel like the appealing system and, like, the court, I don't know if that's something you could do, but it just isn't great. Explain? Like, for example, you send somebody to jail, oh, uh, there's never a lawyer, rarely, sometimes there's a lawyer, but it's mainly judges. Oh, judge is not around. Okay, bro, I build that shit. See you in Agreed. five months. See you in five months. So, okay? so that's uh, so the I've had I now have my fingerprint on ten percent of legislation, uh, and that was done in the last two weeks. Uh, the new FOIA process is a side effect of me arguing with PD High Command and causing Alan Crane to show up, and I had a massive argument with him. Um, uh, and yeah, eventually, yeah, I mean, got I don't gotta FOIA be on peanut for that. It may okay. seem like nothing, but for us lawyers who defend 99% of the population, it is the first step by which we can actually do anything. The reason why you're not seeing appeals and things are taking so long is by the word of, by the own admission of both ex-Captain Slacks and Assistant Chief Ruby is, well, we don't need to legally even give you anything. So that is not the attitude I'm looking for, and which is why I want both of them gone. Um, now, they can 
They they can oh uh, come back and resolve things. They can come back to reality. But if that is the attitude you have towards the people you are uh, uh, hired to look after, then you are not the person for the job. I'm sure there's a desk somewhere you can keep warm instead. 100% protect and serve, you know, and that's for everybody. We're supposed to protect and serve. Also, one more thing. I want to touch on accountability. Like, pinga, pinga, pinga. I was, I was about to say, I want to touch on accountability. I don't want to see dispatchers breaking the law and running red lights and stuff just because they're dispatchers. I ain't gonna lie. I was gonna throw some shots at Tilly. All right, chat. You guys want to know what? You guys know what time it is, chat? Hmm.